I say that veterans are uh, ordinary human beings who have done extraordinary things. We have about 780 or so, depending on the year, faculty staff um, who have served in the military or are currently serving. We have about 360 student veterans. So veterans Week at the University of Michigan started off in 2008. The second year we had a Vietnam veteran um, who works at the university and he said this is the first time the university has thanked me for my service. So we knew we had to do some bigger things with that. Veterans Week has spread from about four programs during that week to I think currently we have 18 going on within about a week and a half. I think it's good, again, to interact with others and, and hear the stories of what people have to say. Thank you for your service. We appreciate the thanks for it, but that those words are sometimes a little uncomfortable. I'd much rather people say, oh, you were in the service, what'd you do? It opens the door where I can share what I would like um, to share and see how you'll receive what I share in very, a very non-judgmental way. So why would I, I hope that civilians would kind of participate in Veterans Week program? Because it's really about them. Uh, it, it showcases veterans and what they do, but we also know a lot about, as veterans, we know kind of what we do. We, we, we tell stories a lot between each other. Where I'd encourage people to do is to really just engage. Go to events, reach outside of your comfort zone, leave kind of biases at the door, what you may think veterans, past experiences, and see how they can, how they can contribute. Again, they're, they're eager to come to um, the civilian society and, and make a difference and contribute. Um, so the more that, that civilians can engage with veterans, um, I think the better that veterans will feel that they can contribute and feel welcomed home and welcomed back and welcomed back into civilian society.